Welcome to this comprehensive brain core video entitled Understanding Neurofeedback. Dr. Guy Annunziata is the founder and developer of brain core therapy and has provided this content to bring you the most current information in one place. Imagine a procedure versatile enough to treat epilepsy, autism, ADHD, head injuries, insomnia, and chronic pain with no drugs or side effects and to improve everything from golf scores to opera singers voices. In fact, the World Cup champion Italian soccer team used it as part of their training. These are only some of the conditions addressed with neurofeedback, an effective treatment that is revolutionizing the way an incredibly broad range of medical and chiropractic conditions are treated. This short video is designed to help you understand what neurofeedback is and how it may be able to help you. BrainCore is a unique neurofeedback system unlike any other system out there. BrainCore is cutting-edge technology that is setting a new standard in triggering the brain's ability to form new connections in response to experience. New connections mean new neuropathways that can now be activated to help overcome symptoms associated with many neurological conditions. Conditions such as ADHD, insomnia, anxiety, migraine and tension headaches, chronic pain and stress disorders, just to name a few. So what is neurofeedback? First and foremost, it's important to note that neurofeedback is a science based in more than 40 years of clinical research. It's a training method based on operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is a training method whereby the subject, in this case the patient, is rewarded for a certain behavior. Through operant conditioning, an association is made between a behavior and a consequence for that behavior. A common example of operant conditioning is when parents reward good grades with ice cream. The law of effect states that a positive reward for a behavior is followed by an increase in the probability of that behavior reoccurring. So if that child sees the ice cream as a reward for getting good grades, then the law of effect says that the probability of getting good grades again is increased. In the case of neurofeedback, the patient is rewarded for producing a certain brainwave. The reward may be visual, auditory, or tactile. For example, here we have a patient experiencing a brain core neurofeedback training session. The patient is laying on the brain core vibroacoustic tactile mattress. Sensors on the patient's scalp detect the patient's brain waves, which are displayed on the doctor's computer screen. In some cases, the software rewards the patient for producing alpha brain waves, and in other cases, beta brain waves. It just depends on the condition that's being addressed. When the patient's brain produces the desired brain wave, the patient receives three different rewards or feedbacks. First, the patient hears a tone. That's the auditory feedback. Next, the patient feels the full body vibration from the tactile mattress. That's the tactile feedback. And finally, the patient also receives visual feedback from the patient monitor. Each of these feedbacks or rewards serve as a signal to the brain that the correct brain wave is being produced. The patient eventually learns how to control the production of the brain wave voluntarily. This results in the permanent alleviation of neurological symptoms associated with the conditions that we've mentioned thus far. Neurofeedback is like learning to ride a bike. If a parent explains to a child how to ride a bike, that child would still not be able to ride. The mind's knowledge does not always translate into information for our brain. Our brain learns from experience, and we do that with the help of feedback from our environment. In the case of learning how to ride a bike, gravity is the feedback. Sometimes tools can assist the learning process, such as using training wheels. Eventually, the brain develops new neurological connections that translates into, look mom, I can do it. And just as you always remember how to ride a bike, improvements made with neurofeedback are permanent. Now, let's take a look at some of the research on neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is based in many years of clinical research. In fact, for the past 40 years, neurofeedback has been studied in research labs in prominent universities throughout the world. Universities such as UCLA, the University of Tennessee, the University of South Carolina and the University of Utah have all participated in neurofeedback research studies that have proven its efficacy. In fact, Dr. Frank H. Duffy, a professor and pediatric neurologist at Harvard Medical School, stated that, quote, 
Neurofeedback should play a major therapeutic role in many difficult areas. In my opinion, if any medication had demonstrated such a wide spectrum of efficacy, it would be universally accepted and widely used." Unquote. In order to better understand neurofeedback, we must first discuss the concept of neurological dysregulation. Neurological dysregulation refers to the production of abnormal brain waves. The goal of neurofeedback is to correct dysregulated brainwave patterns. Neurological dysregulation may be caused by poor nutrition, emotional or physical trauma or stress, drugs and toxins, or a subluxated spine. Dysregulated brainwave patterns may result in many different conditions, and each condition has an associated pattern of brainwave dysregulation that can be corrected with brain core neurofeedback. The initial brain core EEG evaluation will identify the dysregulated patterns that are associated with the different conditions that we treat. In addition to these conditions, neurological dysregulation of brainwave patterns can also be associated with things like autism and Asperger's syndrome depression, learning disorders, dyslexia, tics, Tourette syndrome, as well as memory loss, chronic fatigue syndrome, some cases of traumatic brain injury, some cases of paralysis, panic and anxiety disorders, and post-stroke syndrome. Brain core neurofeedback corrects neurological dysregulation resulting in the alleviation of or reduction of the symptoms associated with many of these neurological conditions. In order to understand the theory of neurological dysregulation a little better, you first need to grasp the concept of brain waves and their associated mental states. Brain waves provide a window to the brain, and every brain wave is associated with a unique mental state. We can measure the different brain waves and brain wave patterns using an electroencephalograph, or EEG. The EEG is a non-invasive diagnostic tool that allows us to measure the different brain waves. As such, it provides a window to the brain and how well it is functioning. In this video, one of our patients is connected to the EEG with surface sensors that are pasted to the scalp. It's important to note that these sensors do not in any way put signals into the brain. And it should also be noted that the application of these sensors does not involve pins or needles and is completely painless. Why are brain waves important? Brain waves tell us how different areas of the brain are communicating. As we said before, each of the five brain waves is associated with a particular state of mind. Now let's examine brain waves and their associated mental states. The following is a quick summary of the five primary brain waves and their associated mental states. The slowest brain wave is delta. Delta waves are associated with deep sleep and the production of human growth hormone. Producing delta waves when you sleep increases your production of human growth hormone, which is important for the healing process in adults and the growth process for children. Those individuals who suffer from some types of neurological dysregulation produce much lower amounts of delta waves. Children with this condition may have stunted growth, and adults may have chronic pain. Another one of the five primary brain waves is alpha. Alpha waves are associated with meditation and general health. The ability to train your mind to increase alpha waves is associated with many physiological benefits, such as decreased blood pressure, decrease in the frequency and severity of migraine and tension headaches, weight loss, and enhanced energy levels. Beta waves are associated with the state of mind that's linked to problem solving, the focused, alert state of mind. For example, as you're sitting here focusing on the content of this video, your brain is producing high levels of beta waves. However, if a dysregulated pattern causes you to produce lower levels of beta waves during this video, then you would experience symptoms of inattention, much like some ADHD patients experience. If dysregulation created a pattern where your brain produced too many beta waves, then you would experience symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsiveness, or anxiety. Theta waves are associated with a twilight state of mind. This is that comfortable state of mind that you're in right before you fall asleep. Patients with ADHD have been shown to produce too many of these brain waves, which often results in the inability to focus and pay attention. And finally, SMR. These waves are produced in high levels when our brain is extremely alert and perfectly still. 
Barry Sturman discovered through his work with epileptics that these brainwaves are associated with resistance to seizures as well as having a calming effect on the brain and the body. Now that you understand brainwaves to some degree, we must talk about how BrainCore can address dysregulated brainwaves and help reestablish normal brainwave patterns to overcome conditions that we've been discussing. It all begins with the BrainCore EEG evaluation. The BrainCore EEG evaluation that is performed at the beginning of the case is designed to provide us with information about each of the five primary brainwaves and the brainwave patterns that the patient's brain is producing. The information from the BrainCore EEG evaluation is then used in conjunction with the patient's presentation to select the training prescription from the BrainCore prescription manual that is best suited for the patient. So how can BrainCore neurofeedback help these conditions? BrainCore neurofeedback therapy is a drugless, non-invasive procedure designed to reverse abnormal brainwave patterns associated with neurological dysregulation through neurofeedback training. By correcting these dysregulated patterns of brain waves, brain core is able to effectively address many different neurological conditions. If you're interested in finding a brain core office near you, please click on the Contact Us tab on our website and submit the short form. We'll send the information right away. And if you're a doctor interested in learning more about how you can offer this cutting edge technology in your office, please click on the Doctors tab on our website. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this introduction to neurofeedback and brain core therapy.